clock. Have you ever heard of it? There's a high chance that you haven't. Um, it's not very common in English-speaking countries. It's very popular, though, in German-speaking countries, amongst others. Um, in Austria, it's called Topfen, but yeah, in other countries, it's most, most commonly known as Quark. Let's just spoon some into my mug. It's quite firm. I haven't had it in ages. Quite firm. Um, very fluffy texture, though. I mean, mm, okay. Getting ahead of myself. Um... Very, very fluffy. Um, slightly dry, not as not as like moist as yogurt. Um, a bit firmer than yogurt, a lot firmer than yogurt. I mean, come on, here. <laughs> um, the taste is it's similar to the taste of yogurt, but a little bit less yogurty, a little bit more sour. So quark is used for all sorts of things. We make cheesecake with it, um, fruit, fruity salads with quark, and um, muesli, you can eat it with muesli. Dumplings with quark are very nice. And also we use it when, when we get sick. So when I was a little kid, and I had a I had a cold. My mom would um, put some cork inside of a towel, heat it up, and then put it on my my chest, on my back. I don't quite remember. Um, but it it can also be cooled and used for sore muscles, tendons, ligaments. Um, thanks for watching. I hope I made you curious about a new type of food. And bon appetit for when you get to try it.